In this video, I'll discuss some strategies for organizing content in Adobe Bridge. Bridge is a great companion to Photoshop, and it allows you to find content efficiently and then work on it in Photoshop. Begin by navigating to a specific folder on your hard drive containing some photos. Here are some trip photos of mine on a recent trip to Italy and France. Every photo contains metadata, that is, information about the photo that isn't pixels. This metadata includes technical information such as the f-stop, the shutter speed, the ISO rating, the pixel size, and so on. You can also add pieces of metadata in these categories here. If you want to add, say, the creator, just click next to it and type in your name. That piece of metadata will then be saved with the photo. There's also the IPTC extension category, and it contains many other pieces of metadata. However, instead of entering all of this data, I prefer to create my own custom metadata in the form of keywords. Go to Keywords, and then you can create any type of structure here to represent the kinds of photos that you're taking. In this case, the trip was to Italy and France, so I'll create two keywords by clicking down here on the plus symbol, one for Italy and one for France. And then within those countries, I went to different cities. So within France, I'll create a sub keyword by clicking here and I'll type in Paris. Then I'll click on Italy and create a sub keyword there called Venice. And now that I'm in this level, I don't want to create another sub keyword. If I did, it would indent that keyword within Venice. And this could be appropriate if I was, say, in Venice proper and then in the island of Murano. But I'm going to delete that. And then at the same level, I'm going to create another keyword. So it becomes a sibling keyword. That is, it's a keyword at the same level. I'll type in Rome. Then I'll go to Preferences. Under Keywords, you have this option whether you want to automatically apply parent keywords or not. In this case, I do, because when I check Venice, I want it to also apply the Italy keyword. This will allow me to filter my photos on different levels. I can look at all the Italian photos if I want to, or I can look at the photos from a particular location. After you create your keywords, you need to assign them to specific photos. So this is the first photo that's selected here in the content panel. I'm going to scroll down until I can find the last photo in my Venice shoot, which I think is this photo here. I'll hold down the shift key and click this thumbnail to select all of those contiguous photos. And then I'll check Venice over here in the Keywords panel. It's going to assign those keywords. And over here in the filter list, you can see that it's actually working on assigning that metadata to each photo. While that's happening, I'll scroll down and look for my Paris photos. That was at the end of this particular trip. So I'm going to keep going down here. Okay, there's the Louvre. Let's go back up a little bit. Okay, here's the train station. That's the first photo in Paris. And I'm going to scroll down to the end, hold down Shift, and click to make a selection of photos. Then I'll click on Paris over here, and the keywords are being assigned. I'll scroll back up and look for the Rome photos. Okay, there's the Pantheon, so that's definitely in Rome. I'll go down a bit. There's some more Rome photos. Okay, that's the last Rome photo on the Spanish Steps. I'll click it and then go up here to the beginning of Rome, which appears to be right here. I'll hold down Shift and click and then check Rome. Now over here, the filter panel is being populated with this information. I can now check a specific filter. Let's say I just want to look at the Paris photos. I'll check that, 
and then the content pane is filtered, so now I'm only looking at the Paris photos. This system is very flexible because you can create your own structure and it allows you to drill down to exactly the set of photos that you want to evaluate.